फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट माउथ वॉश मैं सर डॉक्टर प्रभजोत सिंह एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिक्स चौधरी देवी लाल कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी हरियाणा इंडिया सो बेसिकली देर आर डिफरेंट माउथ वॉशिज डेट आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सो फर्स्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग सम एग्जाम्पल्स नंबर वन इज द क्लोर एक्सीडीन ग्लूकोनेट ओरल रेंस यू एस पी सो दिस माउथ वॉश कंटेन्स अ एंटी बैक्टीरियल एजेंट नोन एज क्लोर एक्सीडीन सो वी कैन सी फ्रॉम द लेबल डेट जीरो पॉइंट वन टू परसेंट क्लोर एक्सीडीन ग्लूकोनेट इन अ बेस कंटेनिंग वाटर लेवन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट अल्कोहल ग्लिसरीन पोलीथालियन ग्लाइकोल सॉर्बिटान डायोस्टिरेट फ्लेवर सोडियम सेक्राइन एंड फूड ड्रग एंड कॉस्मेटिक ब्लू नंबर वन सो दिस इज अ माउथ क्लोर एक्सीडीन माउथ वॉश अनदर एग्जाम्पल इज अस्ट्रीन कूल मिंट सो इन दिस वी डोंट गेट एनी सेंथेटिक एंटी बैक्टीरियल एजेंट वी गेट एक्टिव इनग्रीडियंट सच एस यूक्लिप्टस ऑयल मैंथोल मिथाइल सेल्सलेट थाइमो एंड इन एक्टिव इनग्रीडियंट्स आर वाटर अल्कोहल ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट सॉर्बिटोल सोल्यूशन फ्लेवरिंग प्लेगजमर बेंजोइक एसिड डेट इज अ प्रिजर्वेटिव सोडियम सेक्रेन डेट इज स्वीटनर सोडियम बेंजोइट इट इज ऑल्सो अ प्रिजर्वेटिव एंड फूड ड्रग एंड कॉस्मेटिक कलर सो दिस इज दीज आर द टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ माउथ वॉशिज नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिटेल अबाउट द माउथ वॉशिज सो माउथ वॉश इज अ क्लियर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स कलर्ड सोल्यूशन डेट इज एम टू रिफ्रेश द ब्रेथ बाय स्विशिंग द प्रोडक्ट अराउंड द माउथ फॉलोड बाय स्पीटिंग इट आउट similar to toothpaste it may also have additional benefits such as prevention against tooth decay gingivitis plaque formation or tartar formation or a combination of these it is usually a hydroalcoholic solution in which flavors essential oils and other agents are combined to provide long term breath deodorization palatability can be improved by including a polyhydric alcohol such as glycerin or sorbitol and anionic and non anionic surfactants can also be used to help solubilize the flavors and help remove debris and bacteria from the mouth so students uh, mouth wash is generally a liquid so now we will see what are the various ingredients mouth wash is the simplest type of formulation and it is a simple solution the ingredients may vary depending on the particular formulation and claims however the basic ingredients are the same so the inactive ingredients are number 1 is the solvent so solvent is the vehicle for other ingredients generally two main solvents are used in mouth wash formulation water and alcohol that is ethanol alcohol as an antibacterial activity act as an astringent and contributes to the fresh feeling provided by the product it may also help stabilize the product by solubilizing the flavoring oils so so main type of solvent used in mouth wash is the uh, alcohol with water uh, alcohol free mouth washes are also available in the market that only contain water humectants increase the viscosity of the product and result in a good mouth feel they also inhibit crystallization around the closure so the uh, crystallization around the cap is inhibited by the using humectants without this ingredients the product would have a harsh chemical like taste feel they may also contribute to the sweetness examples for frequently used humectants include glycerin and sorbitol now uh, next are the surfactants surfactants are used in mouth wash formulation to solubilize the flavoring oils and stabilize the products they can provide foaming action on use with this action they contribute to the cleansing effect of the product example include non ionic surfactants such as pluxamers uh, and polysorbates such as polysorbate 80 as well as anionic components such as sodium methyl cocoyl taurate and sodium lauryl sulfate astringents can uh, serve as a temporary deodorizer that mask bad breath example include zinc chloride ethanol and which has it. so next are the preservatives Although alcohol has an antibacterial activity, its antibacterial profile may not cover all microorganisms that frequently contaminate such formulation. 
माउथ वॉशिज आर बेसिकली वाटर ह्यूमेक्ट एंड स्विक्सटम्स विच इज अ परफेक्ट इन्वायरमेंट फॉर माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ देर फॉर मोस्ट फॉर्मुलेशन कंटेन एडिशनल प्रिजर्वेटिव एज वेल सो अदर देन अल्कोहल अदर प्रिजर्वेटिव सच एज बेंजोइट्स बेंजोइक एसिड सोडियम बेंजोइट एंड पैराबेंस आर एडिड सच एज मिथाइल पैराबेन प्रोबाइल पैराबेंस नेक्स्ट आर द फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट्स सो वेरियस फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट्स सच एज मिंट मैंथोल पेपर मिंट ऑयल यूकलिप्टस मिथाइल सल्सलेट थाइमोल्स बबल गम all of these uh, essential oils are also added to the mouthwashes to give them a good flavor and also a good smell sweeteners are also usually added such the sweeteners example is uh, sodium saccharine and uh, uh, now the colors colorants are also an important part of mouthwashes only a tiny amount of water soluble dyes are added Colors may vary from blue to green to purple, or can also be yellow and red. So, food F D and C, food drug and cosmetic colors are used in the mouthwashes. Similar to toothpaste, natural ingredients can also be added for extra benefits or by substituting synthetic ingredients. So, apart from these inactive ingredients, active ingredients can also be added. So, to impart some special property to the mouthwashes. such as antibacterial anti cavity anti hypersensitivity anti plague anti tartar whitening ingredient they can also be added the only condition is that they must be water soluble example for the main function ingredients are summarized as follows anti caries agent such as sodium fluoride stannous fluoride sodium monofluorophosphate anti hypersensitivity agents potassium nitrate strontium chloride anti plague anti gingivitis agents such as chlorhexidin which is very effective agent to reduce plague formation and gingivitis its disadvantage include staining of the teeth taste modification and increased calculus formulation essential oils such as acetyl pyridinium chloride its uh, disadvantage is that anionic surfactants inactivate it so it is usually not recommended to use after brushing and triclosan so triclosan is also a antibacterial agent so these are, are the anti plague agents to added in the mouthwashes next are the anti tartar agents pyrophosphates pvm ma these are the anti tartar agents so we should know what is anti tartar so first we should know what is a tartar so tartar is a uh, a residue that builds up on the teeth we will get the definition tartar is a hard calcified deposit that forms and coats the teeth and gums it is formed when the bacteria that is naturally occurring in the mouth mixes with remnants of the food particles to form a sticky film known as plague when plague is left untreated it hardens and discolors forming into tartar so pyrophosphates and pvm ma these are are the anti tartar agents next the whitening agents such as non bleaching agents such as shmp and bleaching agents such as peroxide sodium hexa metaphosphate so it is a salt that is used as a strain thickener emulsifier texturizer used in variety of foods so it is used in as a whitening agent formulation of mouthwash as a mouthwash is a simple flavored colored solution which may contain essential oils in solubilized form formulation is simple solution preparation process ingredients are dissolved in either water or alcohol based on their solubility and then the water and alcohol phases are mixed together so the formulation part is very simple you only have to dissolve or the ingredients So this is all about mouthwashes thank you